What's happening guys? Well in my last video I said that uh, I was working on a project in order to build a miner bigger than what I've built before and it's taken me a few months to do namely because I've been waiting for parts and a few other bits and pieces getting in the way but I finally built the rig that I was planning on building so this video is to uh, give a brief overview really of how I built this um, this is the largest rig that I've built yet to date and uh, believe it or not it's currently on now it's making me money um, and that's the intent to try and build something to give me that passive income so yeah with every second that passes this machine is mining away it's mining cryptocurrency and it's depositing him directly into my digital wallet so it's a good way of getting that revenue coming in and the idea is as i grow these rigs then that's going to build that income so the rig itself is a vader 6 gpu open air frame they're not the cheapest out there, but I thought with the amount of money that I'm spending on this rig, I wanted it to look good. Um, the fans that I've got across the top are Corsair SP120 quiet fans, and the idea of those is that they're, uh, they're pulling away the hot air from the GPUs. Going on to the GPUs themselves, they are AMD, Sapphire, Radeon, RX 580s, the Nitros Plus 8 gig editions. I've got six of those in total. Now, your graphics card really is going to be the main factor within your mining rig so it's not necessarily something that you want to skip on these cards while they're not exactly cheap they're certainly not the most expensive out there so um, really what you want to do is have a look and see what cards are available if you want to go AMD then you're looking at the RX range uh, whether that be the 580s or, or above Nvidia, if you're on a team green and you're looking at your 1080 Ti's, they're considerably more expensive but will give you more of the revenue. Um, going on to the remainder of the hardware, so the motherboard I've got is the ASRock H110 Pro. Now this motherboard actually allows you to have 13 GPUs connected to it. I'm only running 6 at the moment, I found that to be the optimum one. And So on that I've got a a little Celeron processor, um, RAM, some RAM I had kicking about, I think it's got about 8 gig in this now. RAM and your CPU really aren't that important, um, they they obviously need to exist but they don't have to be of massive power so just bear that in mind when you're uh, when you're buying your hardware. Um, other elements I've got in there, I've got a Noctua heatsink for my, for my CPU just to keep it cool. Conscious is this rig's going to be running fairly hot, so I'm trying to keep all the components as cool as I can to give it some form of length, uh, longevity. Now, the final thing we're going to need is GPU risers. With the size of the graphics cards, there's no way that they'll actually fit next to each other on the motherboard directly themselves. So you need to raise them and lift them directly out of the uh, out of the motherboard. So the risers I've got are again off Amazon. I'll leave a link to all of the uh, all of the parts and that below in the description. In reference to power, I actually wanted to get a 1200 Corsair uh, PSU. However, the lead time on it was absolutely ages. I was waiting for around two months, and I got to the point where I, I cancelled it. And I actually went for Corsair um, 850 PSU. Now that isn't going to be mad enough to power machine itself and the six GPUs. So what I've done is that 850 watt PSU is powering the motherboard, CPU, hard drive, etc. And it's powering three of the six GPUs. I've then got a 750 watt HP server PSU that I've retrofitted into a breakout board to power the other three GPUs. So that's effectively two power supplies powering the entire system. So hard drive, I've gone for a solid state crucial drive, it's 128 gig, um, yeah sure I could get a spinning disk if it's slightly cheaper, however solid state isn't massively expensive now and it's faster and it, uh, it consumes less electricity, so that's always, uh, always a bonus. One thing I get asked a lot in regards to these rigs is return on investment, so hey I'm going to spend X amount on a rig, how long is it going to take me to, to earn my, that back in revenue? Now, the thing is, it's not a, an easy question to answer because firstly, if you're looking on return on investment, it's under the pretense that this kit is going to have any resale value, which, which it obviously will do. Um, secondly, you can look at the price of Bitcoin or whatever coin that you're, uh, you're mining at present, but hopefully it will go up. So again, 
again, your return on investment then will change. I mean, currently the market's not been, been looking too great. It has been on a downward trend. Although the past couple of days it has been looking to, to go back up and, and the balls are back in, shall we say. So at the moment it's looking about between 12 and 14 months before I get a return on my investment and this kit's paid for. But really with the way the prices are going, I can see that changing pretty quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much my rig guys. So thank you very much for coming by and checking it out. Um, I hope it's answered some questions for you because I know some of you in the Facebook group have been saying what sort of rig should you buy, what sort of things should you build, and hopefully this will give you a bit of an insight into that. So if you want to build something similar or you want to know more about the parts I've used, check out the description below because all of the information is in there. If you could use the Amazon affiliation links as well, it doesn't cost you anything, but it means that I get a little something for when you use those links. Um, if you've liked this video, then if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. If you liked it, hit that like as well, that thumbs up, that's always good to see. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.